Well, Candace, last year at this time, 89 people had been shot in Richmond. And as you said, as of today, 237 this afternoon, 100 shot in the city in 2022. The record-breaking violence continues. Early Tuesday morning in Jackson Ward, a man shot in the head, pronounced dead at the hospital. Later in the afternoon, crime insider sources say a man was shot multiple times on Red Street in Mosby. He will survive. Part of a record-breaking stat in the city. 100 shot in 158 days of 2022. That's the worst part of it all, not knowing. And it, what makes it even worse is when you go in stores, you don't know if you're standing next to your daughter's killer. Tanya Williams is grieving the loss of a daughter. 42-year-old Demetria Shante Simmons was shot May 6th, later dying at VCU Medical Center. Her friend from King William County, Jamorlo Butler, was found dead inside her Fairfield Court home. The killings remain a mystery. If you know something, say something. Because you live in that community. You don't want to live with killers among you. You want to live peacefully. You want your children to live peacefully. And it's been everything but peaceful since Simmons' untimely death. Her sister struggles daily, shouldering the loss of a sibling while trying to keep the faith in her family moving forward in life as the reality of a violent loss continues to hover. When it hits you, it's just a total different numb feeling. You can't, like I said, you can't cry enough about it. You get angry at yourself because you can't get sad enough and you can't cry enough and you just want your sister to know I miss you and I love you so much. And you just want to cry so much, but you can't because you just get numb to it. Candace and Bill detectives believe someone living close by Simmons has information they need, adding the walls are thin in Fairfield. Someone had to have heard the mayhem before the murder.